because my desk is like right by the window, the lighting here, I just love the lighting. Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently in uni and this week I'm planning to film a week of study with me. Study with me every day of the week. So maybe I'll manage around four days or something. We'll see how it goes. I'm doing it like vlog style so maybe I'll vlog a little bit. So today I'm planning to finish up my biology tutorial chapter 2. That's my plan for now. So a brief explanation if you guys don't know. Like in uni, we have lectures and tutorials. So lectures will be in the morning and it will be like a one-sided way of teaching. The lecturers will be teaching us and we are just mostly passively learning. And then we'll have tutorials in the afternoon. Tutorials is where we are divided into smaller classes. So it's more interactive and we kind of discuss the answers. Now that I explained about the tutorial and lecture, now I'll get to doing biology tutorial on chapter 2, Reproduction of Organisms. So this session wasn't too bad because I was doing tutorial questions on the human reproductive system which I actually kind of like because when it's topics related to human, I just enjoy it a lot when it's related to plants. I mean, we can all agree that studying about plants like the source of death is so boring. But when it comes to humans, I really enjoy it a lot and doing practice questions is such a good way to strengthen my memory. I really enjoy it and because reading all the time will make me bored to death. So when I'm doing practice questions, it's a fun way to strengthen my memory. And this upbeat music is suggesting that studying is like so fun. It's not really but you know, enjoy this music. Quick study intervals. Spermatogenesis is something that we learn in Form 5. I don't know if you guys learn it yet, but you will get that eventually. And I'm learning again in Foundation in Science. So. so I'm just going to be talking a little bit about doing practice questions. I think that when doing practice questions, you don't have to be afraid to refer to the answers. I mean, I couldn't do it when I was doing my tutorial work because in uni, you're not offered the answers anymore. You actually discuss on the spot. But back when I was doing activity books on my own, I wasn't afraid to refer to the answer and copy down the answer, especially for essay questions, because it's important to know the answer scheme and the way they want you to answer the questions. So I do that and don't copy down blindly, just try to memorize as you copy down and you'll be fine. It was quite a productive session. I got through quite a few pages and some questions are left blank because it's not taught in the lectures yet. So a quick study tip is to do practice questions and do them well because when you're studying your material, you're doing it for the second time because for the first time your teacher actually taught you the material and then the second time you go through it yourself and you can treat the third time you can treat the exercises as the third time of your revision. When you're doing the exercises and you figure out where you're wrong, you have to make sure that you remember not to make the same mistakes again. So I just got back from lectures. I actually had four hours of lecture today. I had a chemistry lecture from 8 to 10 and then I had a maths lecture from 10 to 11 and then a bio lecture from 11 to 12 so now my brain is like not functioning. 
the question is how did I ever sit through six hours of high school like was it seven or six oh my god just four hours of lecture is enough to like kill me anyways now I'm gonna rest for a little bit and then I'll get back to work because I have tutorial class later and I have to complete some work for tutorial class so I'll be doing maths tutorial and these are the questions that I have to get done and there's more here. These questions might not look like a lot, they are just two pages, but believe me, it takes forever to get them done. So here I'm just doing some mathematics questions, and these questions really take a long time. Like if you think at maths in school now is hard, the maths in uni is actually at maths as well. So it's more at maths and it's more difficult than ever. It's just you have to really understand everything and do a lot of practice questions I would say. And again this session was not as like wonderful as this upbeat music would suggest. Currently just going down the stairs to have to go get a bread from the grocery store and I've got to print some stuff as well. So it's 8.50 and I'm currently heading out for a 9 a.m. English class. Today is a Wednesday. I just got back from an English class from 9 to 11 a.m. We have been assigned to write an essay. Now I'm going to be writing an English essay and this essay is called Write About Making the World a Better Place. So I'll be writing this essay and I will share this essay with you guys because you all have been requesting that I show some of my old essays so this is an essay that is newly written after this and I will be filming a video to talk to you about this essay I actually recorded this video so long ago like you guys would know it if you follow me on my Instagram I posted a story about filming in UD and it took me so long to post this video because like it just didn't fit into my schedule and I'm just posting it now but this essay, the video of this essay has already been posted by now, so I was just writing this essay and I actually quite enjoy doing essays and we don't write much essays in uni. This is actually the first one since I entered uni, but I kind of enjoyed it, although the topic could have been better. I'm kind of curious about something when you write essays do you guys like write a specific plan before starting the essay or do you just write down the main points that you have because for me I just write down four main points and that's it I don't go much into planning because for me planning is a little bit of a waste of time and teachers would hate me for this because they are always encouraging us to plan but I feel like instead of planning I want to go straight into writing the essay so I just write down the bullet points and I just go from that so what do you guys do? Do you plan out all your essays beforehand or do you just like write down bullet points and go freestyle like I do? Let me know in the comment section below.
that's it for this vlog style study with me. I didn't manage to film all 5 days but regardless I hope that you enjoyed watching this video because I do enjoy making this kind of video so if you want more of this you can comment down below to let me know. Anyways I hope you are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.